everyone my name is jenna but you guys can call me jen welcome back to my channel welcome to yet another weekend reading vlog hello it is the weekend this weekend i want to do something a little bit more specific and special with my reading if you guys didn't know if you're new around here hi well into my corner of the, the internet i have been writing a middle grade recently and it is currently in the hands of readers so i think to myself what do i do in the meantime in the meantime i read middle grades to do my research for comps and also because middle grades are just the best <laughs> so that's what i'm doing this weekend i made an order of middle grades and i have four of them right here one of them doesn't really count because it is a sequel to a rick Riordan presents book that i absolutely love which is the storm runner but i finally got the sequel so i'm excited to read that but i do have these three which i searched up on the internet and i was looking for keywords that i would use to describe my own work project dream and i found these three that i think might be interesting i don't know if they're all gonna work very well <laughs> as like story comps maybe they'll work for like thematic or writing comps which is works the same way and i just want to enjoy myself so this weekend this is my research these are the three books that i want to read to get through and do my research they are as follows i have eva evergreen by julie abe this just looks absolutely adorable i know nothing about it all i know is that it was compared to a studio ghibli movie i believe and my work was compared to a studio ghibli movie at one point by one of my readers so i was like you know what this sounds cute it like the story premise is more magical than mine is but i thought why not give it a chance the next one is the Accidental Apprentice, the Wild Lore series by Amanda Foodie. She's also a YA author, which I think is really cool. But this sounded wonderful and it's set in a magical forest. And if any of you know anything about my book, it's set in a magical forest, most of it. So we're gonna see how much this compares. And then last but not least, I think we have this one, which is gonna probably be the closest, which is Spirit Hunters by Ellen O. I actually read the first page of this just because when I got it and it hits thematically and writing style wise, almost exactly like mine does. So I'm very intrigued by this because this brings in the spooky factor a little bit more. So like it could be potentially, I could say like Spirit Hunters meets The Accidental Apprentice perhaps as a comp, but yes, this is what I'm doing this weekend and I hope you're going to join me and enjoy it. But it's a middle grade filled weekend, my friends, and I'm ready for it. Hello my lovely friends, happy Saturday. I, last night, last night, last time I talked to you, I ended up not reading anything <laughs> and just watching uh, Dungeons and Dragons, trying to catch up on Vox Machina. And then I, I just kept doing that. I kept crocheting because I'm crocheting like a chaos cardigan currently because I'm using up a bunch of my yarn. That's what I did. And then today, this morning, we went and did a bunch of errands, came home, I had a no good time, panic attack, not fun. Um, feeling better now. Everything's great. <laughs> and then I started reading Eva Evergreen and I'm about 100 pages through and it's very cute so far. I'm very much enjoying it. I also, like, I have a lot of nervous energy from the residual effects of the panic attack, so I, I need to do something with my hands. So I think I have my, I have my switch upstairs, so I think I'm gonna play some Skyrim for a bit and listen to more Box Machina. That's what's up, that's what's happening. <laughs> Tomorrow I have the day to myself because my parents are going on a little vacation thingy for like two days um they're going up to a friend's cabin and staying there for two days so i have sunday monday to myself so tomorrow i have the day to myself don't know what i'm gonna do but it'll be a good time probably full of reading i think because i was doing my middle grade like researchy thing i think eva evergreen is probably the farthest stretch of a comp <laughs> so far i'm like yeah this is not really anything like my book so i think that one might be off the table for a comp but it's very cute to read and i'm very much enjoying it so i'm excited to read Spirit hunters because i think that one might be the closest so anyways just let it pop in with that little update and i'll catch you guys a little later
Sunday. Hello. Welcome to yet another day. Bella, do you want a treat? No? You running away? Okay. I, this morning, have had a fairly productive morning that I didn't plan on having. I had my Skype with my friends, which was just pure chaos. But during that Skype, I decided to clean my fantasy shelves and like go through my adult shelves below it and like shrink it down to like two shelves so that I have another shelf for my fantasy books. <laughs> And it looks so pretty and clean. Everything is clean, everything is beautiful. All of my fantasy books, all of my adult fantasy are on those shelves. I did have to move Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo over, but that's okay because Leigh Bardugo in my head is a YA author. So I just put her with Six of Crows on the other side, which is fine because it's literally like moving about six inches over. But I'm very happy with my shelves now. It was a very productive day. But yes, today I have the house alone. I'm alone because my parents are gone out to a cabin with their friends. I'm alone today, so I'm taking today as a me day. So I'm gonna go spend frivolous money that I shouldn't spend, but I'm going to spend anyways because I had a really shitty mental health day yesterday, so I'm gonna treat myself today. I feel great today, which is awesome. I didn't end up reading any more of Eve Evergreen yesterday. I got distracted by uh, Critical Role. I'm on chapter 12. I'm on page 120, which is amazing. I also started the Accidental Apprentice because this I have on audiobook. So I'm gonna be listening to this baby all day as I go about my day, getting some stuff. I'm going to the bookstore. I'm gonna buy myself a book. I don't know which book we're gonna see. It's gonna be one of those moments where I'm gonna just go into the bookstore and peruse and it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> so nice. And I'm very excited to do that, but that's my day. And I'm also gonna go buy yarn for my scrap sweater because I've run out of any other color that I like that that's like a fun color. I think I wanna get like a pink maybe because I have, I have pink at the bottom but I want it like somewhere near the top again but yeah that's my day so I got my bag I got my bag and I got I got masks in my car <laughs> so we're gonna go and go shopping It is now a lot later. I am so warm. It is like 32 degrees outside right now, even though it is 7.30. Bad choice to go for a walk, but at least Bella went for a walk <laughs> and she's happy now. So I realized that I never actually like updated you as to what I got at the bookstore and stuff. So we're gonna do that now. As I said, I went in with no particular plan just to walk around and find books that I wanted or liked, which was a plan. <laughs> I ended up getting four books. 
<laughs> but I picked up one last stop first because I've been putting this in a cart, taking it out, putting it in a cart, taking it out for months. And I really want to read it. So I picked it up and I'm happy. And then I got Jade City by Fonda Lee, which is a fantasy book I've been meaning to get to for so long. And I was going to walk out with just those. But then one of the staff members came up and she was really cute. And we got to talking. And I was like, oh my God, like, what do you recommend? And of course, like the first like eight books that she recommended, I'm like, I've already read that. <laughs> what else? And then she like flail panicked. I could see it in her eyes. <laughs> and then she recommended me this book. And I was like in my head, I'm like, oh, shit, that's the one, like that's a TikTok book that's like super popular. Not really my vibe, but I've, the way that she described it, I was like, shit, that actually sounds really entertaining. So it was, it's one of us is lying by Karen M. McManus. So I picked this up, but I picked it up because she was cute and her name is Melanie. So, and then on the way out, I saw Ace of Spades and I'm like, if I'm already getting one TikTok book, maybe even two or three, why the fuck won't I just get another one? So I picked up Ace of Spades because this is also like another mystery. So like maybe these, these are my plan for what I'm, you know, you know, that series that I have series. I've done one of them. <laughs> I was reading out of my comfort zone and um, I have one planned for October, which is like thriller mysteries. So I think I'm going to keep both of those for that point in time because I want, when I do my reading out of my comfort zone, I still want variety in those genres. So it's good to have a few YA ones in there. And I've heard really good things about Ace of Spades. So, and people seem to really like One of Us is Lying. So we'll find out if I like those, but these boys I'm very excited about. Super pumped, super pumped for both of these. But I'm going to get my like pajamas on like a tank top and shorts because I'm sweating and I haven't even made dinner yet and I haven't fed this one yet she ate really late so I gotta feed her and I have an entire kitchen to clean and the dishwasher to do so that's what I'm gonna do I've been reading all day today I've listened to the Accidental Apprentice's audiobook. I think I'm halfway through it uh, while I was doing my running around and stuff and it's really enjoyable. I'm loving it a whole heck of a lot. Just like Eva Evergreen, it's going to definitely be a stretch for a comp, I think, because it, it, the only thing that it has a comment is like a magical forest and even that is not even there. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm enjoying it. So it's awesome. And I've been reading through my critique partner's manuscript as well, which is really fun and sci-fi-y, so I'm really enjoying it. And I think I'm on like page like 70 something. So I was hoping to get through that one quicker than I am, but that's okay. I think tonight I'm gonna try get to maybe page 80, 85 and then call it and then watch some Dungeons and Dragons podcasters something because it's a me day it's a me day i don't know what i want for supper i don't even know if i want anything for supper because my stomach kind of hurts right now for no reason at all it's fun but yeah i'm overheating so i'm gonna go get something else on <laughs> i'll talk to you guys later i also picked up some yarn at walmart to do to add to my like chaos cardigan i think i'm gonna do the like ribbing out of this as well because i think that's probably the best choice but i got this white it's got like a little bit of sparkle this one's cute and it's gonna add some texture and it is so soft you guys have no idea but anyways i picked up some more yarn for my chaos cardigan which i'm gonna work on when i watch dungeons and dragons podcast which i'm gonna do now you just gotta do what your little heart tells you to do your sweaty little heart tells you to do. So that's what I want to do. And I also like, I want to like do some stuff like the kitchen. I got to clean it and got to see what I want for supper. I have no idea. Maybe it'll end up just being like cereal because that's the vibe. But vibe right now, get this queued up and go get something else on. <laughs> Happy Monday! It's gloomy as hell outside and it's currently raining. And I have a very anxious doggo with me. 
because that's just her vibe all the time. It's just anxiety. <laughs> but I wanted to pop in and grab these books here because I figured it's Monday. Might as well pop in with a little update on stuff. Uh, yesterday, last I talked to you, I just watched Dungeons and Dragons podcast. I, I got to like page 90, I think, of my critique partner's manuscript, which is awesome. And I'm going to be continuously working on that for the rest of the week, um, hopefully to get it wrapped up. But I'm currently <laughs> in the middle of these and I was hoping to have like all three of these polished off this weekend but I guess this weekend's vibe was just being distracted by critical role so that that was the, that was this weekend's vibe which is fine but and I've also like realized with both of these that probably neither of them are going to be good comps so I think I'm gonna try and read this maybe not today because I got some work today to do and I do have my audiobook for the Tower of Nero expiring in the next two days. So I gotta, re I gotta listen to that too. So we're just gonna be continuing my little escapades into finding comparable middle grades. Actually, let's go into my library. I have some middle grades on my shelves that might possibly also work. All right, so let's, let's have a look, see what could be a possible comp for this that I have not yet read. So I don't believe I've read anything that could work as a comp. None of the Regret and Presents work. No, not those. Maybe night books for vibe. Also, maybe these two? It's a matter of you. I got... These two that might possibly be comps. But the thing is, the, the way you need to do comps is they need to have been published in the last like five years. Um, and this was published in 2017, so that's probably the latest I would go. This one's been published a long, long time ago because there's a big series that's out with it, so. Yeah, 2012. That's almost a full decade ago, so this one might not work. And then, of course, Bella, can you please just not pace around my library. I also have Wildwood, which I've never read. This one was published in 2011, so even later. So never mind. That one is a hard no, I guess. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think these two might also possibly work as comps. We're gonna have to read them and find out, I guess. <laughs> Does this one work as a comp? Oh, how old is, was this one? I mean, 16. So that's exactly five years. This one's a close maybe, but it's a little bit of a different tone completely. Mine is a bit more of a fun tone. So yeah, we're gonna continue my research. Actually, I didn't even look when this one was published. I think it was pretty recent. And it was also a gift from a fellow Manitoba and Marie, which is so sweet. Where is the publishing page? Yeah, this was published in 2018, so this would work as well. Because I think the vibe is more spooky than I originally set out to write this book. <laughs> Which works because it's Halloween, right? So these might be the comps. I just have to finish reading them. I have to get through them. That's, that's the vibe. It's Monday. I got a work day ahead of me. So let's go do that. have a bunch of work to do but that's okay because I have nothing else to do and it's a gloomy day so like why not <laughs> as you can tell by the light in here that makes it feel like it's midnight I am popping in to officially finish this vlog and to update you on some reading I just finished listening to the audiobook of The Accidental Apprentice by Amanda Foody <laughs> it was so good <laughs> it was so cute I might have a comp possibility with it because it explores above all a sense of like a kids just finding a place where they belong and that's a huge thing in my book too it's a possibility which i'm very excited to say i have a possible comp with that i i wrote down a little sticky note here that says explores finding a place you belong like amanda foodie's accidental apprentice which is like a possible line of a query that i'm gonna stick in here to keep 
keep as I continue my exploration. But this was so flinging, flanging good, you guys. It was so fantastic. And I think this is an excellent model for me, myself, as a potential aspiring middle grade author to really try and model my book like, like to, to get the snappy scenes, to really like hone in on stuff. I actually got texts from my friend this morning, from my friend Eshte, and she actually finished reading my manuscript. And the first thing that she said was the beginning it was too long, but overall it was very good. So, and, and then I was like, okay, like, what way was it too long? Like, was there too many scenes? Um, or not too long, too slow. Was there too many scenes? Was it too wordy? Like, what kind of sense? Because it's a difference between too many scenes before getting to what you want, or not, like, just a general sense of, of slow. And she said scene-wise. I'm gonna wait a little bit until I get that feedback from my beta reader, Kat, as well as my critique partner, Dimitri. And then I'm gonna take their thoughts all together and see if there's any like really common themes of like <laughs> slowness. But I did ask SJ, uh, like particular scenes, like what felt expendable? Like what could you get rid of? Because as someone who is super attached to a book, like you don't really see that, you know? So it's, it's good. And I'm excited to get her notes, her full notes on it when she sends them to me. So it's a good time. And finishing up a really good middle grade that's like little and concise and is just jam-packed with fantastic characters and a really great story. I think that I can easily take inspiration from this and transfer it to my own work. So it's making me more excited to go in and do a first real close edit and to shrink scenes because that's also one thing that, that SJ said was that there was a lot of like conversations could be shrunk which is hilarious because I did actually try to shrink the conversations before I sent it off. So like she just kept saying and I was like you would have hated the first draft that I sent out too because like I had shrunk the beginning exponentially from draft three to draft four and she still thinks it's quite long so we're gonna have to do some some hard thinking but I think the one thing that I've noticed across most middle grade is that what happens hap like like that clinching moment of like what's like advertised on the back flap happens within like the first two chapters so I gotta make sure that we get to that moment quicker. That can be probably achieved by me going in and like really tightening my prose and like making sure I'm getting things across in a very concise way, as well as possibly adjusting some scenes at the beginning. I think I could probably take some of the family scenes and flip it with the tour of the forest, but that's that's for later me to think about. <laughs> but yes, I also this weekend managed to read about 110 pages, 120 pages of Eva Evergreen. So I'm gonna continue reading this as well which I'm also really enjoying these middle grades are just so enjoyable and I cannot wait like this one is gonna get like a four and a half five star like it's gonna be a new favorite of mine because this series is just gonna be so good and I want to get my hands on the next one too Amanda Foodie knows how to write a damn book I really liked this I really liked this I don't even think I told you what it was about but this is about a young orphan boy Barkley who lives in this town and he wants nothing else but to become a mushroom farmer he knows everything there is to know about mushrooms and he was orphaned seven years prior because this big beast named Gravaldor like came and ripped apart the town and killed his parents in that attack. Uh, but at the beginning of this, he and a second apprentice, like mushroom farming apprentice, are off in the woods looking for a specific mushroom and then they end up getting into the woods where they're, they're not supposed to be in the woods because like the one rule, the, the, <laughs> the place that he's from, Dalshire, is just packed with like thousands and thousands of rules that you have to follow. Otherwise you are like kicked out kind of a thing. So something happens, he gets lost in the woods and they meet a girl named Viola and she's adorable. She's this little girl on the back, on the front here. She's incredible. I love her so much. And then something happens, Barkley ends up being forced back into the woods where he then starts to interact with the beasts there and the lore keepers there and the magic there. And it is so good. I really recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. Please read this. It's so sweet and so good. And then Eva Evergreen is about a a little witch girl who's got only a pinch of magic and she has to go through a quest to become a novice witch and this this book is her quest it, so she goes to a town and she basically has to stay with the town for a month to fulfill her quest and like help the town in any way that she can at, up to the point where I'm at she was just begrudgingly accepted by the town to stay there and help them in any way she could so I'm excited to keep going with this one and I do have these three other 
authors that I'm looking forward to reading as well to see how they pan out and to see if they are possible comps. Spirit Hunters I am most definitely excited for because the front is the tone that I want to get across. It's balancing fear and humor and heartache. Spirit Hunters is a page turning spine tingling delight. Like that's 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 kind of the vibe that I want to get across with my book too. And I know Night Books is also a little bit creepy so potential. And then A Place Called Perfect is about a small town so possible comps here as well. But overall, this weekend has just been a delight. A delight to experience these middle grades and a delight to have cleaned up my fantasy shelf. Finally, it's this one right here. She's now clean. There's only this small stack of books and then all these ones that I'm unhauling. It's great to have that clean now. So much better. <laughs> I also went to the bookstore, bought new books. Everything's great. It's been a lovely weekend. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, like this video and subscribe if you haven't join my little corner booktube. I will catch you guys in another video soon and I'll let you guys know how the rest of these go in my hunt for comps. <laughs> Stay kind and keep on reading.